A very active weather pattern will be impacting the United States over the next couple of weeks, and this is expected to bring a bunch of different storm systems, beginning with a big storm in the southeast that will continue to bring severe weather, including a few tornadoes, in addition to excessive rainfall. But as we go into the middle and end of this upcoming week, we are expecting more big severe weather events across areas like the Great Plains and eventually through areas like the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next 7 to 10 days. And it will begin with what's happening across the country today and you'll notice we actually have a large non-tropical storm system back over in the southeast and this is actually something that we would call more than anything an atmospheric river in the Gulf which is something that is more typical back over on the west coast but we are still seeing a, essentially an atmospheric river which is expected to penetrate even more rainfall across areas like the south east over the next 48 hours and there could even be a few tornadoes in areas like florida alabama georgia and south carolina out of this storm system but while this low pressure system slowly moves off to the north and northeast it is expected to keep things in the great plains very quiet essentially acting almost like a blockade in sorts because it is just such a slow moving storm system in addition to that we also have a ridge that's in place back over in the southern plains so this should keep a lot of things dry and warm across the Great Plains for the next few days up until around Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which is when we could see the return of at least some significant severe weather, depending on a lot of different features. But we are definitely looking at a more active weather pattern, I think, across the entire country by at least around the later half of this upcoming work week. So over the next seven days, our weather pattern is going to be very different, beginning with what's happening right now. We do have a low pressure system once again near the Gulf Coast. This is going to continue to bring plenty of rain rainfall and a little bit of severe weather and as we go into Sunday into Monday we actually need to keep a close eye on this low pressure system because we are going to get a very strong southwesterly flow Sunday night and into Monday which could actually elevate our tornado risk a little bit for parts of Florida Alabama and Georgia so definitely something we need to keep an eye on because this could actually increase our tornado threat especially on Monday and depending on the storm mode and if things stay organized I wouldn't be surprised honestly with a slightly more significant tornado threat in Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. So definitely keep an eye out on a potential live stream day on Monday. As we go into Monday into Tuesday, this low pressure system is barely going to be moving, but by Tuesday into Wednesday, it does become broader and weaker, which should allow for our next big storm system back over in the western tier of the United States, which would move over the Rockies sometime on Wednesday and Thursday. And this could actually bring some significant severe weather, but it's going to really depend on where exactly this low pressure center goes. I do think that capping is going to be an issue on Wednesday and Thursday, but nonetheless, I do think some level of severe weather is going to be in play across the central plains in the Midwest. And with a setup like this, where we have a strong southwesterly flow and all sorts of cold and warm air mixing in the Great Plains, we could easily have a potential for all hazards of severe weather. But it is going to come down to there one being potentially a cap in place, two, how much moisture we have, and then three, also the level of instability, which as of now looks like we are going to have a lot of instability as we go into the middle and end of this upcoming week. Eventually, by Thursday and Friday, our jet stream will become a little bit flatter across parts of the Midwest. I would keep an eye, though, on potentially even a mesoscale convective system or two trying to occur back over in the Midwest or the Central Plains on Friday or Saturday. It's going to depend, though, on our positioning of our jet stream. If it's more out of the Northwest, that would actually promote more of a severe weather event that's favoring a line of thunderstorms, meaning a mesoscale convective system. Eventually, by Saturday into Sunday, things do become a little bit more uncertain, but the GFS model is still indicating a lot of troughing back over near the Rockies, which would lead to multiple severe weather events and just in general, an active weather pattern for the Great Plains, Ohio Valley, and Midwest. And we will likely see a fairly active weather pattern all the way through the end of May. So definitely get ready. This is the beginning of an active weather pattern that'll start to shape up by the middle and end of this upcoming work week. Now let's put this into more simplistic terms with the future radar over the next couple of days beginning with Saturday and Sunday we'll continue to watch for showers and thunderstorms back along the Gulf Coast and in the southeast which will lead to flooding rainfall in addition to at least some isolated to scattered severe weather on both Saturday Sunday and Monday eventually by Tuesday our severe weather risk will be much lower only potential for severe weather will mainly be in the mid-Atlantic and then after that this rain event will eventually start to move offshore I think by late Tuesday and into Wednesday and while that's happening a low pressure system will be moving over the rock 
Rockies as we go into late Wednesday and early Thursday. And depending on how fast this thing moves over the Rockies, it could actually bring at least an isolated threat of severe weather on Wednesday across parts of the Central Plains. And if storms were to fire in this environment, all hazards of severe weather would be possible. The thing is, we don't exactly know what the storm coverage is going to be right now, Wednesday or Thursday, mainly because of how slowly this low pressure system could move over the Rockies. And there could also be a capping issue in place, which means that there's a temperature inversion in the lower half of the atmosphere that could basically prevent storms from even bubbling up. So definitely something that we need to keep a close eye on. But nonetheless, all hazards of severe weather would be possible as the ingredients in place are very favorable for severe weather. It's just going to come down to, I think, a lot of our smaller scale features here. And then eventually by late Thursday and into early Friday, this storm system will likely move into the far northern plains, which means that any severe weather Thursday would likely be confined to parts of the Midwest, where there would be a threat of at least some damaging winds, hail, and maybe even a tornado or two. And then eventually by late Friday and Saturday, this low pressure center is going to stay just north of Minnesota, and it could bring another risk of severe weather on Friday to parts of the Ohio Valley in the Midwest. By Saturday, the storm system continues to slowly spin off to the north. It'll become less relevant for the United States by Saturday, I think. And then by late Saturday into Sunday, another storm system will try to move over the Rockies, which could bring another round of severe weather from the southern plains back into the lower Midwest. And then anytime after Saturday, the severe weather potential and exactly where that happens all remains a lot more up in the air. But I do think if we see another storm system Saturday and Sunday, we will have a progressive system that will bring severe weather to, again, the southern plains and the Midwest and perhaps the Ohio Valley over the span of about three or four days. So definitely something that we need to keep a very close eye on. And once again, we are in May. The weather pattern has been somewhat quiet here over the last few days. And aside from what's happening in the southeast, no major severe weather events are at least in the very short term. But I do think by the end of the work week, we will start to get back into the groove of there actually being some level of significant severe weather in areas like the Great Plains. Now, in terms of the rainfall over the next seven days, we are expecting a bunch of rain if you're back over in the southeast or along the east coast. Very easily could pick up four to eight inches of rain between now all the way through the end of the weekend and early next week in Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. And even around one to three inches of rain is expected across almost all of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and back into Virginia and Maryland. So be careful out there, especially if you are in a low-lying area as there could be some localized flooding. For now, areas like the southern and central plains and the Midwest not really expecting much rain between now all the way through Thursday and Friday. But keep in mind that this is subject to change and will depend basically on what happens with our storm systems as we go into the middle and end of this upcoming week. I do think by the weekend, though, we are going to start to see at least some rain in parts of the central and southern plains. I don't know if everybody's going to see rain because if we do see severe weather, it might end up being a bit more isolated, scattered, but nonetheless, something to keep an eye on by the end of the work week. In terms of our temperatures here over the next week or two, we are expecting temperatures to stay below average back along the Gulf Coast and in the southeast. As we go throughout the rest of this weekend and early to mid next week, warm weather will build in across the Midwest and almost all the Great Plains by Wednesday and Thursday. Some areas back over in the southern and central plains could be hitting the 100s as we go into Wednesday for high temperatures. So be prepared for that. Some of the first 100s that we've seen all year round are possible, including areas like Dallas, which is currently forecasted to reach around 98 degrees on Wednesday. By Thursday and into Friday, that warm air continues to build, especially in the Ohio Valley and Northeast. So be ready for the potential for some record-breaking high temperatures. And then by the weekend and early the following week, that's where things start to get a lot more uncertain. But as we start to see a more active weather pattern commence, I do think colder weather will start to return to parts of the Northern Plains and the Central Plains. But it's only going to be a matter of time. It's, I think it's going to take a little bit of time for that to actually happen, mainly because of the slow-moving nature of these different storm systems over the weekend. And then looking ahead, we are expecting temperatures to remain above average for most areas east of the Rockies, anywhere from Thursday of this upcoming week all the way through Monday of the following week, as we are expecting almost anywhere east of the Rockies to stay above average. And if you're anywhere along or west of the Rocky Mountains, there's a very high chance that you'll at least be below average for temperatures in general. And on the other hand, our rainfall is likely to be above average anywhere in the green as we go into Thursday of this week through Monday of the following week. And especially in areas like the Central and Southern Plains, the Lower Mississippi River Valley, and even back up into the Upper Midwest and the Rockies, there will likely be above average rainfall. But definitely notice this, back over along the Gulf Coast, despite all the rain that we are seeing just over the next few days, and already what we've seen, there actually probably will not be a whole lot of rain by the end of this work week into the weekend. So definitely a break 
coming for areas along the Gulf Coast once we start to see more troughing back over in the Rockies and a little bit more ridging in place back over in the southeast. This should promote, again, a more active, severe weather pattern across much of the Great Plains, Ohio Valley, and the Midwest, but it'll also leave areas back over in the southeast back to being dry. And for the rest of this Mother's Day weekend, we are expecting severe weather to continue in the southeast and across Montana and Idaho, where damaging winds, large hail, and a low tornado risk will exist today, tomorrow, in addition to Monday. But generally speaking, every day is a low risk as of right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a slight risk somewhere on Monday for tornadoes, but for right now, it is a low threat. Just make sure that you're staying weather aware and having multiple ways to receive alerts. And if there's any upgrade to this risk, we'll also have a video tomorrow, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates. And have a great rest of your Mother's Day weekend.